how to implement DFS depth first search in Python. Hi, in this video, we'll start from a preview of how the DFS algorithm works. Then we'll continue to the implementation of the algorithm in Python. And the last part would be testing our code to make sure that it works as expected. So let's start with a preview of how DFS works. Let's say that we have a graph and we are given the root of the graph. Let's say uh, that's the node with the value of zero. And we want to check if the node with the value of seven exists in the graph. Okay, so for the algorithm, we'll use two data structures. One is a stack. Now the stack could be a data structure that we initialize or we'll call recursively a function. So Python would handle the recursive call of the functions, which is actually a stack of calls. And we'll also use a set to uh, record which nodes we have already processed to make sure we process each node only once. At each iteration of our algorithm, we'll, we'll pop the last element that was inserted into the stack. In our case, we'll start with zero, check all of its neighbors, and for each neighbor that was not in the set, we'll add it to the stack. So for zero, we'll add to this, we'll pop it, and then we'll add one, four, two, and five. We'll also add these values into the set, one, four, two, and five. Let's mark them in our graph, one, four, two, and five. And now that we finished processing zero, we can mark it. Okay, now let's pop the last element in our stack, that's five. And let's add all of its neighbors that are not in the set, meaning from zero and six, we can only add six. Let's append it to the stack and also add it to the set. Okay, now we'll mark an X on five. So the last element in our stack is six. We'll pop it and add all of its elements that are not in the set seven and five but hey we found seven which means that seven is reachable from our root and could be found in the graph great now let's move on to to the implementation part of the dfs algorithm we'll have two versions one we'll call a recursive function and the other one would not use a recursive function but rather would use a stack as a data structure in the implementation Let's start with implementing the DFS recursive function. So we are given two parameters. One, a list of nodes called roots. It's a list of nodes called roots because the graph may not be fully connected, but rather made of several connected graphs. So in this example, we could receive the roots of zero and nine. The second parameter is the target value, and we want to return a node from our function. So uh, we want to process each one of the roots and then search recursively if we can find the target value. Let's begin with initializing a set. We'll call it scene, and we'll add all of the roots into the set. Then for root in roots, we want to call recursively a function. So um, let's call it a search resolve, and we'll use uh, a new function called DFS recursive helper, and we'll send the root, the target value, and the scene set. And if we found the value, meaning we did not return none, but the node that contains the target value, let's return it. But if at the end we couldn't even find the target value, we'll just return none. Now let's um, uh, create the helper function, def DFS recursive helper, and it will receive a node of type node, the target value of type int, and the scene set of type, no? set of type node and we run to return a node from it now if node is none if not node then just return none now we want to add the node to the set now we want to add the node into the scene set so we'll never process it again Now, let's check if the node contains the target value. If node value equals the target value, perfect, we found it. We can return the node. If not, we finished processing the node, so let's add it to the scene set. Scene add node. And now for each one of the node node's neighbors, let's try to see if from that direction we could find the, tar the target value. So for neighbor in node neighbors, 
if neighbor not in scene, then uh, let's call it search search result, and we we, can't, we want to call the function recursively, and we will call it with the neighbor target value and see. Oh, I forgot a B over there. And again, if the search result is not none, then we found the target node and we want to return it. And if not, we'll just return none. And that's the implementation for the recursive uh, function. And now let's implement the non-recursive version of DFS. For that, we'll use a stack and we'll use uh, Python's list as a stack. It allows us to append and pop element from the end of the list with O of one. And we'll add all of the roots to the stack using extend. We'll also initialize a set with all of the roots in it at the beginning. Scene equals set with roots. Now we want to process the stack as long as there are nodes in the stack. While well, stack, we want to pop the last element that we inserted into the stack. Node equals stack pop. And if not node, in case it's none, just continue. Okay. Now, if node value equals the target value, then we found the node, return node. And if not, let's add all of the node's neighbors into the stack and continue processing the stack. So for neighbor in node neighbors, if neighbor not in scene, let's add it to the scene, scene append neighbor, and we'll also add the neighbor to the stack, we'll append it. So stack append neighbor okay and in case we cannot find the target value in our graph we'll just return none in both implementations the time complexity is the number of nodes plus the number of edges in the graph for the space complexity it's only the number of nodes in the graph as we store only them in the set or at the stack excellent now for the last part of the video Let's run some tests to make sure that our uh, algorithm works as expected. So we use this test graph that has two connected parts and I created uh, this graph in advance and we'll use two roots, zero and nine. So the nodes that contain zero and nine are there and here. Now let's run our code. So I have some test code at the bottom. And we run, want to run the recursive version, but we all also run the non-recursive. Uh, again, we receive two roots, 0 and 9, and we want to see if we are able to find 0, 1, 7, 9, and 11. All of these values exist in the graph, so we expect to uh, receive a node. But for 15 and 33, which do not exist in the graph, we expect to receive none. Let's run the code. And as expected, we did receive the nodes because they are reachable from the roots and we could find them in the graph, but we couldn't find any nodes that contain 15 or 33 in the graph. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video valuable, please like it and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.